equipment for 382 megawatt Sunni Dam hydroelectric project by SJVN. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs, chaired by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, has approved the investment for 382 megawatt Sunni Dam hydroelectric project in Himachal Pradesh by SJVN Limited for an estimated cost of rupees 2614.51 crores, including rupees 13.80 crores as budgetary support from Government of India for the cost of enabling infrastructure. The project cost of rupees 2614 crore included hard costs amounting to rupees 2246.40 crore interest during construction and financing charges of rupees 358.96 crore and 9.15 crores respectively. The implementation of the project shall generate direct and indirect employment for about 4,000 people during the peak construction of the project. HPCL commences its first HP Zeropol polypropylene grade sale to an end customer. The consignment was flagged off today from warehouse plant in Vivendi, Maharashtra. In presence of ED, INC, head pet chem, senior officials and other important stakeholders. To advance its objective, HPCL has taken a leap beyond with the flagship petrochemical brand HP Durapol, which consists of HDPE, LLDPE and PP grades of polymers that will not only add value but will create perfect bonding within the molecules and with customers. Realtail backs order from SCCL for MPLS VPN connectivity work. Realtail Corporation of India Limited has backed an order from Southeastern Coal Field Limited, a Coal India subsidiary for the work of MPLS VPN, multi protocol label switching virtual private network, connectivity for five to nine locations under SCCL command area, including bay bridges, washeries, mines area offices and SSCL headquarters. The work order is valued at Rs 186.19 crore including GST. The awarded work order entails the creation of an MPLS VPN network across SSCL along with the installation of network equipment, UPS and racks and also connecting all locations through OFC and RF based last mile media. Railtail will also build upgrade a network operations center specifically for SSCL, which will monitor the entire locations. NTPC Green Energy Limited signed MOU with Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited on 3rd of January in New Delhi for development of renewable energy based power project to tap business opportunities and RE and supply of 400 megawatt round the clock renewable power for requirements of HPCL. The MOU was signed by Mr. Neeraj Sharma, Head of Finance and GEL and Sri Shivendu Gupta, Executive Director, Biofuels and Renewables, HPCL. This MOU marks the first step for NGEL and HPCL to collaborate and cooperate in the field of development of renewable energy projects, which shall help HPCL in meeting its clean energy commitments. CMPDI obtained patent for its innovative work. Central Mine Planning and Design Institute Limited, a Mini Ratna category first company, obtained a patent for its innovative work of developing a system and method for controlling generation and movement of fugitive dust. The patent was granted on 30th December 2022 by the Patent Office Intellectual Property India, Government of India. This helps in making the air pollution free, which in turn saves from the health damage to the inhabitants residing around and working in the mining areas. Ministry of Coal and a Navratna Government of India Enterprise NLC India Limited signed a Memorandum of Understanding on January 4, 2023 for its key performance areas for 2022 and 2023. The MOU was signed by Sri Amrit Lal Meena, Secretary of Coal and Chairman and Managing Director of NLCIL. This MOU has been formulated based on DPE guidelines and finalized after discussions in IMC. 
Minister Nitanand Rai inaugurated the hostel blocks and residential quarters at Central Training College. Honorable Minister of State Sri Nitanand Rai, Ministry of Home Affairs, inaugurated the hostel blocks and residential quarters at Central Training College, Indo Tibetan Border Police, Alva, implemented by WAPCOS on 4th January 2023. In addition to above, WAPCOS has successfully completed the implementation of ITBP battalions at Chapra and Katihar, Bihar, Noonad, Kerala, Rivari, Haryana, and Amritsar, Punjab. DMRC's Metro Museum marked its 14th anniversary. Metro Museum of Delhi Metro Rail Corporation marked its 14th anniversary today. Established in the year 2008, the Metro Museum has been a special attraction for visitors and commuters of Delhi Metro over the past decade. The museum has also been the venue for various events and initiatives taken up for children by the Corporate Communication Department of TMRC. On the occasion of its 14th anniversary, the Delhi Metro Museum today held a series of activities at the Metro Museum located at Patel Chok Metro Station. More than 40 children from the Salam Balak Trust and Udran NGO were invited to visit Metro Museum and take part in the 14th anniversary celebration.